and Christ, they're everywhere. We got your car out in front, but the entry collapsed, so we couldn't get to you. We can use the underground passage to the backyard and then to your car. Fucking go, man. Let's go. I'm 
have a fucking worm like you? Die, motherfucker! Por favor! You think you can attack me? Why? You don't listen, pendejo. Not even to yourself. You fucked up. You fucked up good because you caused this. This everything. What happened? What the fuck happened? Oh, Antonio, man. Why didn't you fucking listen? Hey, Sosa! You thought you could take me? No! No, I take Tony Montana down for me! You hear me, Sosa, you cocksucker? No one but me. You did me a favor, you shit. Got rid of my baggage. Made me lean like before. Okay. What you gotta do to make it right? To get everything back. Sosa! The prick gotta die! Gonna bring out a war against that fuck! Anybody who tried to work with him, fuck him all! Gotta talk to Sheffield. Set things straight. Find out what he knows.
Sheffield and Associates, how can I help you? Yeah, I want to talk to George. May I ask who's inquiring? Why don't you tell him Tony Montana would like to have a word with him? Hello? You there? Of course, Mr. Montana. Mr. Sheffield is interested to speak with you as well. Okay. You want to let me in or is this how we're going to do business now? Through the hole in the wall? Mr. Sheffield is having a business lunch at the Babylon Club at the moment. I can tell him that you wish to speak with him. That's okay. Mr. Montana? Jesus Christ, I thought you were dead. You writing a fucking book or what? No, no, I, I just... Uh, do you know how hard it's been to get any good coke around here? Is that Hossa Sheffield in the club? Yeah, he in here. There's a couple of guys from Vice in here, too. Watch your back, Tony. Thanks, man. Hey, move over, baby. And maybe we smoke cigars. If you're wanting free legal advice, how about a little head? <laughs> we need to talk, George. What do you want? Tony? I want Sosa's head on a fucking platter, man. Sosa, Tony? Impossible. Why? You got some kind of shortage of platters? Tony, come on. Where the hell you been? What happened? War. That's what. Sosa probably think I'm dead or run off or something. Well, I'm back, okay? This is my town, my world, George, and nobody's gonna take it away from me. I come to talk to you first because you know what's going on. You still work for me, George, huh? You still my lawyer? Tony, babe, you know the score. Uh, it's gonna be dangerous to be associated with you right now. Word's gonna spread that you're back in town. Can't do it. Spread the word, Chef. Come on, look at me. I know Miami. I'm gonna take it all back. You know it's true. So surprised taking all those other guys for a big ride. Caspar Gomez, Nacho Contreras, the Diaz brothers, they're all fucking worms. Hey, you want me? It's gonna cost you, Tony. And more than before. None of that chicken feed either. Where's the loyalty, George, you fucking snake? I know you got connections. You just gotta make it happen. You took my money before, and that makes you just as bad as me. But I'm alive, George. I'm alive. And now what you gonna do, huh? You still work for me. All right, Tony. You want to get something going? A friend of mine runs the bar in Coconut Grove. Talk to her. And Tony, I uh, I don't work for free. Coco, so you know. never heard of her. Got to talk to Felix. By now, what he knows. What's all over your face, pal? Your wife's pussy. Well, little man, I'd be real careful walking around town with that stuff. Yeah, you never know who you might run into. Hey, who'd you call it little man? I kicked your ass all over the dance floor, okay? Okay, Tony, no more bullshit. You know how this works. We've got your mansion locked up tighter than a nun's ass, and if you want it back, you're gonna have to cough up the cash. Oh, you guys don't quit. You're like a, like a fucking cockroach, always looking for that hole to crawl into and worm your way in. Look, buddy, we know what you're up to. We've got our eyes on you now. Watch for us. We're everywhere. You know what I'm talking about? The cable guy, pizza Fuck. delivery. Hell, we might even be cleaning your mama's carpets. Fuck. 
Fuck that. I gotta talk to Felix, see what he knows. What the fuck? Are you all right? All you do around here is bring fever and sad. Felix, how'd you doing, man? Oh shit! It's fucking true. Oh, word spreads fast. Tony, Jesus, it's good to see you. How's business, Felix? Just still working all the angles? It's tough, Tony. I've been laying low, you know, since you left. Sosa's trying to run me out. He's putting the squeeze on all the small-time suppliers. Surprise! All that gonna change. The others are pissed. Nacho Contreras and the Diaz brothers lost out. They heard about Sosa working with Gaspar. It's a war, Tony. They're all trying to take over what you had. Tell me what you know, man. I was at your storehouse two months ago, you know? I didn't know what was going on. Word on the street was that you were dead, so I had to look around. When I got there, I recognized a couple of your guys, but then I saw Gaspar. He was inside, watching over the loading of a delivery truck. I bought a couple of keys off them, but the price was jacked. It's been tough since you left, Tony. There are only a few independent dealers you can trust anymore. That's all gonna change. Do you work for me? We take this town by the balls. I'm with you, Tony, if you need me, man. I need to start making my own moves. Gotta get back in, you know? Gonna have to pay off the vice to get my mansion back, fuckers. From there, we can rebuild the business. Take what I've got to get you started. Talk to Coco. She's one of the only dealers we can trust anymore. She works the bar down in the Grove. If you ever need a hit to get rolling, just come find me, Tony. Okay, man. Tony, it's good to have you back, man.
A piss in your face, how'd you like that? Hey, wipe your ass! I could use a drink. This is a deserted dress. Much I have ever smell seen. Smell like a skunk spray your face. I need some collateral. Hey, you want a drink? Is that your way of saying you want to buy me a drink? Give me a scotch. On the rocks? Straight up. I know you. No, we never met. No, but you've been here before. A long time ago, you were with another man. Tall, good-looking Cuban guy. Oh, you got a good memory, Tiger. Felix forgot to mention that. Felix? <laughs> that dog? He owes me a night out. You know each other? Felix is working for me now. He said you might be interested in what I got to offer. Well, that's fine in the boy, isn't it? Look, supply is tight in Miami right now. Expensive. All my shit's being controlled by Gaspar Gomez. That prick keeps the prices too high. I know this town better than anyone. I get the chip, you sell it. I collect my coin, you keep yours. Hmm. Okay. You've got a deal. What do you go by? Montana. But you can call me Tony, okay, Posica? Okay, Tony. I can only push so much product in a day. The bar has its limits. The others around, though, just can't always trust them. Me? I only trust one person. I hear you, Tiger. <laughs> Okay, let's see the cash. Come on, talk to me, man. You walk away like you did me some favor. Excuse me? Not in here saying I can't give I'm here to buy. I like the way you work, man. I take out your cheap fuck. This body is more fragile than it looks. Enrique Santos and Joe Ferrero. Ladies and gentlemen, something you are distracting me.
The government not paying you clowns enough? Hey, buddy, we're vice. Not some loose-knit government agency looking for handouts. You know how this is gonna work from here on out, don't you? Fuck you. Mayor Bernstein tried this shit on me once, and it didn't work out so good for him, you know. Mayor? He wasn't a team player, Montana. You did us all a favor. Look, Montana, Miami is our backyard. The people pay us to make sure scumbags like you keep the economy nice and stable. We don't want to get in the way unless you force us to, understand? Our boys in the street keep tabs on you. You start doing too many things that upset the people, then your heat goes up. If your heat gets too high, then we'll be forced to make a house call. So, if you want to keep it cool with us, Montana, we suggest you make a donation. Maybe you two should go home and donate a little something to your wives, you know? Relax a little. <laughs> We're watching you, boy.